I keep going back to it and I always will. I always say most people underestimate the amount of relationships and politics and clicks and all this stuff you got to play to get things done at any of these places, especially Notre Dame for some reason. For some reason, there's just a lot of egos in play at power positions. And it's just, you got to be able to navigate that web the right way to get shit done at Notre Dame football. I've said it a million times. Most of these places, the, the head football coach does whatever he wants. He gets the money. He gets the players. They don't have to go to class. Whatever they want, they get. Notre Dame's never going to be built like that. Everything has to go through all these webs of these relationships and all these different people that hold different level, levels, levels and levers of power. It's a complicated job at Notre Dame, but it's a big one. You have to be able to navigate those relationships the right way to even have a chance to get any of this stuff done. And now Marcus is here and I'm seeing all this stuff happen. So if you're going to credit a bunch of people or whatever, you definitely have to credit Marcus. And I know the people that think all I do is carry water for Marcus are going to just say, oh, cool, John, he's a smooth talker, but you're not winning enough games on the field or whatever. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I, I want Marcus to succeed. I'm a bigger fan of him personally than Kelly just because of the way they operate and treat people and the work ethic differences. But he's got to get better and mistakes got to get cleaned up. He's got to be a better in-game coach. He's got to figure out a way to get the guys to play better on the road than we played last year. They still need to find a way to win the biggest game on the schedule or make a big splash. Beat a team you, you're not expected to beat at all. So... He's got to get a lot better, but you've got to credit him for the relationship building. And that's one of the things I said right away with this guy is what you're giving up with experience and all this with Kelly, you're gaining some back in relationship building, communicating and all that kind of stuff. And I know how outsized importance that carries at Notre Dame. And that carries over into recruiting and it carries over in the admin building. And the people going out to get donations and season tickets and all that. How you ma how you treat people always matters. It matters more at Notre Dame. And if you start rubbing the powers that be the wrong way, you're going to have a stalemate and shit isn't going to get done. And they don't give a rat's ass if that means you lose a game or two. They don't. It's about proving that point. Flexing that power. You got to be able to navigate this the right way to get things done. It takes a special kind of person to be willing and able to navigate it. And you can't bullshit your way through it either because that only lasts for a while. And then people see through it. People will see through it. You can only fake it for a while. Probably longer than you could fake a, a fake Southern accent you don't have, but you can only fake it for a while. Eventually, it's going to wear off. People see through it. So you got to credit Marcus for that. Uh, and I get it. It's just, John, you're, you value all this stuff, but it isn't adding up to wins or whatever. I, wait till you have all this stuff and those wins come. I'm just telling you, this is all being put together different. It all has a different feel. Many more people are aligned, pulling from the same end of the rope this time. You're not having as many little factions back and forth between football and a group or a head coach in a group. You're not having a lot. More people are pulling from the same end of the rope now to help this program along. That wasn't always the case, you guys. It's just, it feels different this time. And I don't know whether that's good or bad. It just feels different this time. And different is what I wanted after so much of Kelly was the same. Different is what I wanted. Different is what I asked for. Different is what I signed up for. I just hope I like what different ends up being as the final product, right?
And so I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I need Notre Dame to have a, a really, really strong year on the field. Have a really, really strong year on the field. That'll be an extra pillar of stability here, moving this all forward. Getting it all the way back to the actual football, man. You got to get in that playoff, win a couple games. You got to be in the mix. Like this needs to be, this needs to look different. It needs to feel different. It needs to look different. Everybody needs to step up. This spring is going to be big. And I know every single fan and every reporter for every team, every spring, oh, it's got to be a big spring. Yeah, it's always a big spring. But I just feel like this has a chance to really start to feel and look different than what we're used to. And that's going to be the really the first chance to start seeing that in a larger scale. So I don't know, you guys. Um, I had no idea what this was going to turn into. This ended up being turning into a Saturday night Notre Dame free association thing. Because I just started going and going and going. And again, is some of that because I'm in a more relaxed setting, sitting in a nice, comfortable chair? I don't know. I didn't mean for that. to. I thought that was going to go like seven minutes, not 32 or whatever we're at. But like it had turned into a free association thing on a Saturday night. I set up everything to be like, let's see it, do a test run, a video, see how the backdrop looks. And then I'm like, that'll with it. I'll record some for Patreon and test it on that. Hopefully it turns out good when I look back. 